The Clock King has been embedded in my brain since I was a kid. A lot of these episodes are, but I'm kind of surprised at just how memorable this one became. This isn't a main villain episode, it's not really one of the best stories, but there is one aspect to it that makes it significant. The Clock King himself. Fugit. Tempo Fugit. What a name. I know it's based off the Latin phrase for time flies, but it's just fun to hear him say it. Fugit. Tempo Fugit. That voice combined with his time gimmick really stuck out to me. For years, I thought the Clock King was an original villain made just for the show, but that's not true. He actually had a long history prior to his appearance here, first as a Green Arrow villain, then showing up in the Batman 66 show, and more. In recent years, versions of this character continue to pop up in Arrow, The Flash, and even the Lego Batman movie. But like other previously known characters, Batman the Animated Series revamped this villain into a unique, schedule-obsessed man who has a bone to pick with Gotham City mayor, Hamilton Hill. Several years before he was mayor, Hamilton Hill would ride the subway to his job as a lawyer. Temple Fugit always sat across from him on the ride, and they got to know each other a little bit. Fugit was the head of a time and motion study company who was on the last appeal of a multi-million dollar judgment against them. Hill suggests that the tightly wound Fugit loosen up and go into that day's hearing more relaxed. In order to achieve this, he tells him to move his coffee break back 15 minutes and take it easy for a little bit. When Fugit tries this, his case documents are blown around by the wind, and he ends up late to his court appearance. The judge finds him in default and upholds the judgment against him, ruining his career. Seven years later, Fugit targets the now Mayor Hill in an attempt at revenge for destroying his life by daring to suggest he go off his schedule. Batman looks into the crimes committed by Fugit and tries to stop him before Gotham's mayor is killed. All of the Clock King's lines are delivered in such a straightforward fashion. It fits the character perfectly, and Alan Rackins did a flawless job voicing him. Toward the end, when he's about to kill the mayor, though, his laugh turns pretty maniacal. The Grim Reaper! <laughs> We get to see Fugit at his lowest point when the judge rules against him, and this only increases his already unhealthy fixation with time and precise scheduling. So much so, that it turns him into a supervillain worthy of fighting Batman. A lot of people often point out that Batman's best villains are inverses of different parts of his personality. What do we always say about Batman when we match him up in a fight against a, a Superman or much more powerful character? With enough prep time, Batman can beat anyone. Whether that's true or not, the Dark Knight's smarts and meticulous preparation have been highlighted time and time again. He's always at least one step ahead. The Clock King is the same way. He managed to predict many of Batman's movements and decisions, outsmarting him a few different times here. That makes him a reasonably dangerous and formidable foe. Batman does a lot of detective work in this episode and brings along Alfred for most of it. No Batmobile required, just Alfred driving around with the Caped Crusader in the back seat. To disable the locks on the vault. Yes, the time locks. Fugit. I love Alfred. Those little moments are great. I'm finding out more and more through rewatching this show how special these climaxes are. They always take place at an interesting and or appropriate location. Now, you can say that about comics in general, but seeing them animated this way in this world makes them exceptional. And this one is no different. I love the clock tower and how it's used in the finale. I got some Back to the Future safety last vibes from this, and it all works very effectively. The Clock King is still at large by the end of this episode, and it really shows how clever he was was in fighting Batman. If you have the time, this one is definitely worth a rewatch.